Late Night Health continues. I'm Mark Allen. Join us at Facebook.com slash Late Night Health Radio. Facebook.com slash Late Night Health Radio or Late Night Health.com. Pushing the buttons, the insane Daryl Wayne. Hello, Daryl. Greetings and salutations. Uh, as we wrap up today's show, we're going to spend some time uh, with a young man. His name is David Meltzer. Everybody is young uh, on Late Night Health. Uh, he's the author of Compassionate Capitalism and Connected to Goodness. He has all kinds of things going. I can't keep up. He's got um, the Entrepreneur Elevator Pitch coming up. He has a new podcast that's called The Playbook about sports. And um, what else do you have going on, David? Another book in there? Yeah. So, I, you know, I've actually written seven books. We uh, luckily Connected to Goodness uh, keeps selling more and more. I. I wrote it to be the the next Think and Grow Rich, which was my favorite book. So it's an evergreen book that kind of gives guideposts on how to manifest or to get what you want out of life and to be happy. And so, uh, you know, through having my 20th anniversary, four children, my oldest going to college, a new TV show called Elevator Pitch, the podcast, uh, the playbook, my radio show, The Sports Blender with Jim Lairitz, uh, three businesses. I bought a media company. I have my aggregated marketing platform uh, won the Stevia World, not only for the best mobile and web app in sports domestically, but we just found out internationally. So in the world, we won the gold medal for the best mobile and web app in sports. So beyond that, I'm fairly busy, and I'm just so pleased to have the opportunity to speak to both of you guys. Well, you're based in Irvine, California, so we're, we're kind of neighbors because we're here in Ventura County. Let's... Awesome. I was, I was at Northridge last night speaking to a class. Oh, okay. Well, we'll uh, we'll have to hook up then. I will absolutely. I will get that arranged. So let's let's talk about something business as it relates to health. I know people. I'm sure you know people, and they only care about the bottom line. They don't care if they're ripping somebody off. They don't care if they're taking advantage. If they're doing this intentionally, can it, in your opinion, affect your health? Absolutely, because it's a matter of energy. Um, you know, what happens is when we are selling, overselling, back-end selling, or even lying or ripping someone off, we're creating a void for us to fill. And what happens is we're human, and when we can't fill that void, it actually has a conscious effect on us, even though subconsciously and unconsciously we may not be aware of it. It has a conscious effect on our vibration or our cellular structure, which can manifest or attract all types of illness. And when we instead are of service, when we're connected to goodness, when we're inspired with what we do, when we wake up every morning to provide value, not to take value, that we actually are living closer to the truth at a higher vibration, and we actually can significantly decrease any chance of illness. We actually can be a, a healer of our own self by creating positive energy not only personally, but professionally in business. And it's really not too much of an extra effort to do so. And that's kind of what I write about and talk about is how to shift the paradigm of value instead of being a taker, how to become a giver and to be of service and to help others, but not in a non-pragmatic way. I believe that it's important to make a lot of money so we can help a lot of people and have a lot of fun and we can't give what we don't have. So making a lot of money is so important to our wellness because with with money, 9% of what we want for our happiness can be bought. It's right? unfortunate, but, but I, I have to disagree a little bit. I do want to make a lot of money. I agree with that, okay? Yeah. But at the same time, last week, my wife and I were standing in our kitchen, and I, I actually told the story last week. We were standing in our kitchen. I turned off the lights and my wife went oh my last week was a full moon and the moonlight was coming in through our kitchen windows there was a large uh, there's a large i call them sunflowers i have no idea what they really are outside the window and it was such a beautiful picture my wife went oh and i stopped and i knew exactly what she was saying and when i see a rainbow or my kids see a rainbow we always call my wife because she loves rainbows. You can't buy that. 
Okay, so let me finish. Yeah, I, I agree with that. So 90% of 90% of what you want can be bought. Better health, better education, better experiences, better homes, better flowers. Yeah, I was going to say better the flowers. 10%, the 10% that can't be bought is the truth. And the truth are those rainbows. It's those beautiful moments. And that 10% outweighs the 90%, and it eclipses, no pun intended, all of the 90% that you can buy. So if you don't enjoy the pursuit of your truth, if you don't enjoy the pursuit of your potential, uh, then you're missing out on what that 90% can, can provide because you don't have the gratitude or perspective of it. You don't have the empathy or forgiveness the accountability and the effective communication. So we're actually in agreement, you and I. Yes. That I, I just believe 90% of what we want can be bought, but the most important is the 10%, the, the truth that we can't. Can that 10% help us get that 90? Absolutely. You just nailed it. So that's, that's so funny because most people try to teach and to empower others for the 90%, and I teach and empower others about the 10% because... It's all about vibration of the truth. The truth vibrates the fastest. And so if I can teach people to enjoy the pursuit of the truth as a better father, as a better husband, as a better business person, but enjoy that pursuit of providing value and being of service and living closer to the truth, the higher self, then what we do is we become aware of that which is equal vibration to us meaning that we can make the right choices, whether to do business with someone or not, to understand if someone's back-end selling or overselling or lying to us, or even more importantly, whether we make a left turn or a right turn in our life is determined by our awareness, and that 10% is what I teach and is the most valuable, and it actually determines, in my opinion, if you take care of the 10%, the 90% will take care of itself. Uh, David Meltzer, the author of uh, Compassionate Compa uh, uh, Capitalism and Connected to Health and all kinds of other stuff, the playbook. Uh, go ahead and uh, find the playbook. Uh, it's sponsored by entrepreneur.com, entrepreneur.com. Uh, the other day I was uh, looking in my library for something, and I found two things. Um, uh, Wallace Waddle's book, which I took out because I haven't read it for a while and also next to it was Think and Grow Rich and next to that was uh, Happy for No Reason uh, so all of those books are on my nightstand now to reread so we are connected we're in the yeah, same those way. are great books they are all great <laughs> books aren't they and Absolutely. they and they help they they they, they can help y you you made the, the the mention of a word that I think is one of the most important words, and that is gratitude and being grat grateful. Who are we grateful to? Each other? God? Jesus? Mohammed? Moses? I, I can't think of anybody else, but those are the major ones, guys. If I forgot you, I don't mean to. Are we grateful to source? Grateful to others? Who are we grateful for and to? So for me, uh, you know, gratitude is an effective habit. It's one that gives us perspective. So for me, I'm grateful for the past, for the present, and for the future. And so for me, gratitude gives me that perspective. And whatever inspires me, right, whatever connects me to goodness, and that's why I use kind of the ubiquitous term connected to goodness, not God, Jesus, Muhammad, Joseph Smith, you know, whoever else you may believe in, the 12th man, if you're a Seattle Seahawk fan. But I believe <laughs> if we're grateful, if we're grateful for that which inspires us, and we're grateful for our past because it makes our past wonderful, if we're grateful for our present because it makes it even better, and if we're grateful for our future, then it will even be brighter. And so gratitude is the most powerful thing. And I actually have a 30-day gratitude challenge. I created a gratitude app to remind people to say or think thank you before they go to bed and when they wake up, uh, because I believe after 30 days, gratitude becomes part of your subconscious and even your unconscious, and it's the easiest way to change your life is to be grateful. What about love? Love is the truth. So for me, as you know, I, that's the 10%. Love is the truth. It's the highest vibrating thing. It encompasses gratitude, empathy, or forgiveness, accountability, and effective communication. Grati uh, love itself is truth, and if we enjoy the pursuit of our love, the love for others, the love for our business profession, our love for you know our family, whatever it may be, for books. If we if we can live as close to that love or truth as possible, we're going to become aware and become and, and have the capability of empowering others 
to empower others with love or the truth. Here's Daryl. I want to throw one more book uh, on the pile, uh, Pour Your Heart Into It by Howard Schultz. Oh, <laughs> that is a good one. I always say books call me, right? I, I have so many books uh, in my house and in my office. It's amazing. I'll, I'll see a book. It just it almost grabs me if it's been on my, on my shelf for 10 years. And I'm like, okay, it's time for me to read that. It's a calling. Yes. I, I'm, not, I'm personally not allowed into old bookstores by my <laughs> wife. <laughs> As part of my uh, MBA, I obviously read a lot of textbooks. That was the best business book from a personal perspective that I've ever read in my life. That, that and Napoleon Hill, obviously. Yeah, I love Napoleon Hill. I, I read a really good one recently, sur- the Surrender experience, Experiment, um, which, you know, I think about getting out of your own way is just a terrific business and, and, and inspirational book as well. Yeah, but Howard Schultz says crossing the finish line alone is a very empty feeling and you need to take as many people across with you as you can. Absolutely. I agree Absolutely. with that. Absolutely. I agree with that. Our guest is uh, none other than David Meltzer. Uh, two of his books, uh, Compassionate uh, Capitalism and Connected to Goodness. And and uh, and we're talking about all the things that he does to help humanity. Is that something that we all need to do, is to help others? Of, of course. You know, for if you realize that everyone is connected and we're all one, that we're all relative to one another, uh, even if someone is acting in out of alignment with what our core beliefs are, it's still relative to us because it gives us perspective. When things happen that I don't agree with, uh, whether it be in religion, politics, or business, I use it as uh, a communication, right? It raises the awareness of what we don't believe in and that if we look upon it and forgive it and take action so that it doesn't occur again, then we can grow and expand and elevate our vibration. So uh, absolutely, you know, we want to help others first and with what I believe the physics of the universe uh, is that if we help others we create a void not for us to fill but for the universe to fill and the universe is so efficient effective and statistically successful that it feels like we're getting 10 times as much back because it comes so quickly and accurately to us and that's where sayings like the more I give the more I get or when I give I get 10 times back it's only because when we're of service we create a void for the universe to fill, and it fills it very efficiently and effectively. And, you know, it's it's in the Old and New Testament. <laughs> Absolutely. Right? And many other... And, and many, many other, other religions <laughs> as well. It, 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 it really is. Um, you mentioned uh, one of your children is going off to college soon. Yeah. Right? And which is, which is really good. I'm going to suggest that and until he or she goes, you hug them 14 times a day because they go off, they get married, and they don't come back. Anyway, um, <laughs> it's... I, I'm already feeling it. You know, it, it, a, absolutely. Uh, uh, David Meltzer is our guest. We're going to take time out here at Late Night Health. We'll be back with David and, of course, the insane Daryl Wayne in just a couple of moments. Don't go away. Join us at LateNightHealth.com, LateNightHealth.com, and Facebook.com slash Late Night Health radio late night health radio all right uh, turn it over to daryl to take us out we'll be right back If you or someone you love suffers from drug addiction, now is the time to utilize your private health insurance PPO plan. If eligible, receive up to $30,000 or more in substance abuse benefits with low or no out-of-pocket cost. We are the National Treatment Network, the premier drug and alcohol treatment referral service operating 24-7. We help connect you with facilities nationwide that accepts PPO private health insurance for substance abuse. If you have PPO substance abuse coverage and you need immediate admittance to a medical detox or residential rehab treatment center, call us now. Call our live referral helpline today. The call is free. This program is not available to Medicare or Medicaid customers. Call 800-296-1252, 800-296-1252, 800-296-1252. 
That's 800-296-1252. Are you being audited? And do you owe the IRS $10,000 or more in back taxes? Is the IRS threatening to take more of your money? Don't fight the IRS alone. The tax doctor is here to help you negotiate a lower tax bill. The IRS can freeze your assets and seize your bank accounts. But you can stop these IRS actions. The tax doctor will fight for you using industry secrets that can stop any IRS actions, eliminate penalties and interest, and reduce your past tax bill. So you pay the IRS less. If you owe $10,000 or more in back taxes, call the tax doctor now for a free IRS audit emergency review. 800-663-5107. 800-663-5107. 800-663-5107. That's 800-663-5107. 